which is kind of still royal related, which is about Harry's uh, flash Harry, his mad dash to the coronation <laughs> and back. Very in and out. Yes. <laughs> this is just not an, yeah, but, not an exclusive. This has been known for weeks. It has been known, it? but the interesting thing about it was so basically to tell everyone listening and watching at home, he's essentially going to potentially only be here for 24 hours. Um, he'll be there for the coronation at 11 o'clock and then... Uh, it is speculated back in time for his son's um, birthday in California. And, you know, just talking about the kind of ways in which the royals tie themselves up in knots, a very quick, um, you know, long-haul flight mad dash just to come and be in a coronation, you could imagine that causing um, waves among a younger population of people who are very sort of climate-conscious and all that kind of mm, thing. And you can't win. It, but this is this is it. I think the, the more that the royals try to make themselves normal and make themselves approachable and accessible, they're going to they you know when they quite clearly aren't because very few people in the world fly to the UK for a, a party and then go back home again. Um, they end up they end up in a kind of between a rock and a hard place, which is that they either are up there as the sublime, untouchable and not like us at all and and therefore, you know, I suppose you could argue have some kind of value in terms of what the Queen represented or they're just like us and then I sh shouldn't have to doff my cap to them. Well, yeah. I, look, I think the Harry thing, there's a few things going on there. He doesn't want... he. he He's coming to the coronation so that he's at the coronation of his father, but he doesn't want to be in those awkward meetings. He doesn't want to be in the seventh row at the Abbey, pictured, you know, with the surly looks from the other members of the royal family. He doesn't want to be in those very awkward meetings with the rest of the royal family after the publication of his memoir, in which mm. he said some truly vile things. He, d he hasn't been invited to the balcony. As for saying he's dashing back for, his, for Archie's fourth birthday, it's just ludicrous. No child, I mean... Oh, come on. I oh, don't no, think, I no. Don't I've think got a two-year-old. He doesn't know whether it's his second birthday or whether it's just a wet Monday morning. I think it's ludicrous to pretend that it's a mad rush back for the fourth birthday. Oh, it's I, to get in and oh, out so that he's done the coronation. You are a harsh woman. I'm not. I'm being realistic. Harry oh. is in an awkward situation and he just thinks, OK, well, I'll come for the coronation and then I'll get the oh. heck out of Dodge. <laughs> to be fair, it's, no, the way, it's, the way, it's the way that he went on for the Jubilee and the funeral as well. I mean, it was an in and out yeah, job, yes, wasn't yeah. it? Yes, I and know. And you know why? Because he doesn't want to be confronted by the others basically well, giving him the cold that's shoulder. That's an absolutely fair point. But, however, I don't think... I think it's a perfectly legitimate excuse to say, well, it's my son's no, birthday. I, no I time for people who it. make a fuss of the second, third, fourth birthdays. Do they yeah. don't know, Stephen. They don't know whether it's their... They do. Yeah, of course they do if they're being told. And I don't remember a single one of my birthdays before the age of about seven. Don't you? No, no I don't remember anything. I remember my fourth birthday. Oh, bless. Do you? I do. Oh. I very much remember turning five as well, very, very specifically, because I thought, oh, I'll never be four again. Oh, I remember thinking I don't that. remember any of that stuff. No, well, but, no. That's why you're so harsh and cold. Oh, I am uh, cold. Not, not to bang the Republican drum, but isn't it interesting that so much of what we talk about in relation to the coronation, even though this is there, there's a funny um, cartoon in The Telegraph, I think it is this morning, with um, Charles kind of, praying that Wills and Harry don't fight until after the coronation. So much of what we talk about is to do with the kind of quasi-celebrity drama of Harry and Meghan or, you know, William and Harry and their relationships and all the, the drama of it, which, mm. you know, I love reality TV. I can get behind that kind of stuff. Yeah. But um, that tells you something about the changing role of, of the yeah. monarchy. If but it's we're always been that way. There's not much else like to say about the coronation. Great, he's done it. He's, you know, orb, scepter. Mm. I'm, I'm very disappointed in you two this morning. <laughs> Let's have a look at Ron